4.30, breaking news as attorneys for Terry Bean ask a judge to dismiss child sex abuse charges against him. The prominent political fundraiser and gay rights activist was supposed to go on trial early next week, but the man who prosecutors say is the victim is refusing to testify. Tim Becker has been following this case since last fall. He's in Eugene right now with the latest. Well, you know, it is tough to make a case without a witness, and that's really what all of this is boiling down to. I spoke with the alleged victim's attorney in this case, and she says he will not appear to testify, and that's even though he was issued a subpoena by the Lane County prosecutor. Now, Terry Bean and his attorney showed up about 15 minutes before the hearing started. He is charged with third-degree sex abuse and third-degree sodomy. His co-defendant, Kyle Lawson, was in court also to hear prosecutors ask the judge to allow the trial to continue as planned starting next Tuesday. Bean's attorney argued that waiting till then just doesn't make sense if that material witness won't show up, which is what the material witness's attorney says. And when all this began, though, eight months ago, the alleged victim's attorney told, told me that she would do all she can to make sure that Lawson and Bean are held accountable for what happened to her client and traumatized him. Well, I asked what has changed since then and why he won't testify now. Um, my client has decided that he doesn't want to participate in the criminal side in large part because of the behavior of the detective in this case and the special prosecutor. The behavior of the detective. I, mean, I don't suppose you can elaborate on that a little bit. What did the detective do that really turned off your, your, your client? He bullied my client, I would say, in, uh, in the schoolyard sense of the word. He did whatever he could to um, destroy his support system. He outed him to um, family members that didn't know he was gay. Um, and he has used information gained in the investigation to undermine my client's confidence in his support system. So uh, she was here to ask the judge to dismiss this. She says that all of this d process that her client has been going through has traumatized him, even caused him to threaten suicide more than once. And so she wants to see this case dismissed. There was some thought the judge would dismiss that right here this afternoon, but about 15 or 20 minutes ago, he ruled that the trial will go on as expected, uh, and that is September 1st, next Tuesday. So this is something we're going to continue to follow as the information continue to ch continues rather to change and unfold. Live in Eugene, Tim Becker, Coin 6 News.